That class in there was amazing. Carla's classes are always amazing. You go in probably maybe thinking you're just going to a yoga class, but it's never like that. You go in completely de-stress really, really quickly. And you hear the way that she talks through absolutely everything. You're never left in the class. In the space, in the body. Think about lifting the chin up now, stretching out the front of the throat. Softening around your eyes your forehead, keeping the eyes lightly closed if you like, you're welcome to open them. It's quite nice just keeping the eyes closed so that you become more keenly aware of what's happening within. Okay, pranayama, um, that's a Sanskrit word, so Sanskrit's the language that, um, that was used when yoga was first developed, um, and we honour that tradition by using Sanskrit. So prana is the name of my studio. Prana means life force, okay? And the yogis believe that um, we access that life force, that energy via the breath, okay? And we can control that energy via the breath. Um, and yama is the Sanskrit word for control. Okay, so prana, control, energy, control, breath, control. That's really what pranayama means. It's tremendously relaxing. <laughs> get the sensation that everyone else is in a peaceful state of mind and uh, it's just a great kind of yoga family. Yeah, absolutely. It's, I, I find it very, very calming, very relaxing, very grounding um, and it's a whole body experience for me. Yeah, absolutely. I have an extremely busy life, four children, lots of jobs to do, so this really, really sets me up for great fantastic. I think as well, to, um, kind of, the more we start to work with the breath, the more you, you, you can come in here and your mind's all over the place. You're, you know, you've got so many things, the to-do list and a mile long, so much going on in your brain. And as Carla works through the, the pranayama, you can feel yourself just start to just relax and settle down and suddenly you, you, everything feels a wee bit more manageable. Yeah, okay. that, that's perfect. <laughs> And bring one hand over the heart centre and the other hand over the belly. And check in with these physical spaces in the body. And check in with your breath. So begin to notice where you feel the breath the most. Perhaps it's under the hand that's over the chest or under the hand that's over the belly. More often than not, we are breathing high up into the lungs in response to all of the stimulus that we feel and experience throughout our day. And the way life is right now, we have a lot of external stimulus. From the moment we wake up to the moment we go to sleep. So it's really important to use these inherent tools that we have to keep us from feeling this fight, flight or freeze response, the sympathetic nervous system is usually quite dominant throughout our day and it causes all kinds of issues. It's very useful in short bursts throughout our day, but we don't need it all day, every day. and relaxed and start to take in some of that heavenly chi feeling that bright white light infuse your whole being qigong is like yoga it's about bringing you into this kind of harmon harmonious, kind of um, steady, peaceful state. 
but the techniques that are used are just slightly different, similar to yoga, but just slightly different. Um, because you're working more with the visual, you're working with that idea of the, the white light, you know, the heavenly chi and, you know, getting rid of the, the dark smoke of anything toxic. Um, and you're working in a really soft way, like it's, a, it's almost like you're moving through water in Qigong. Um, everybody um, comes to yoga for their own reason. Um, and it could be that they're coming to yoga for uh, say they're recovering from a hip replacement and they've heard that yoga is really good for flexibility. Yes, it is. And um, on a physical level, if that's all you do it for, brilliant. But pretty soon, once you get into the whole show of, uh, of what a yoga practice means, um, you know, it's not just about movement. It's not just about flexibility. It's not just about strength. It's actually about um, ethics, you know, about being kind to yourself and to others, it's about being truthful, um, it's about, um, you know, surrendering, letting go and releasing to the, the present moment, you know, just being in the moment. Amazing, it's such a lovely class where people come, they feel welcome, they know everybody and they can just use the hour that we have here to completely relax, de-stress and enjoy the class because it's actually really fun as well.